Never Stop Learning, week 240. We're gonna take a quick look at how to distress with masks in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. All right, so here's a design I was working on for a t-shirt. And what I'd like to do is add some distressing to it or give it a more weathered look by adding some texture. If you notice this white, it's just a flat color. So I think it would look a little bit more interesting if we distress this a little bit. All right, what I'm gonna do is switch over to this document here. Now, this is a distress image that I created by printing out a black sheet of paper and then just scratching away the ink and then scanning that. And now I could use this to kind of add textures to a lot of my pieces. All right, so what I'm gonna do is turn this into a floating tab, release. I'm gonna hit the V key just to make sure I have the move tool. Click and drag on the image, but before I release, I'm gonna hold down the shift key. I'll release the mouse first, then the shift key, and that's gonna ensure that this image is in the center of this document. I'm gonna hit Command T on my Mac or Control T on a PC. And now I'm gonna be able to transform this image a little bit. Command zero, so I can see the entire transformation. Notice we're not using the entire texture here, so let me bring this guy in a little bit. Click and drag on the corner, hold down Shift and Option. If you're on a PC, use Alt. I just wanna bring it in towards the edge, release the mouse first, then the modifiers. I'll hit enter or return on my keyboard. That's gonna accept that transformation. And now this is what we're left with. What I'd like to do next is create a selection based off of this image. There are several different tools you could use for this, but the one I'm gonna go with is over here at the top under the select menu, find color range. When you click on that, you get the color range window. Now, what I wanna do is actually just zoom in on this image. I'm just hitting command plus. All right, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find just an area of black. I'll click on that and that's gonna help us with our selection. So it doesn't look like we've created one yet, but you'll see how this works. Now, if I zoom out, notice we have this fuzziness slider. If I drag this guy towards the right, all right, so notice it's changing our selection here. We're having a uh, finer distressing here. If I drag it towards the left, we're introducing some more distressing here. I'm actually gonna leave this set to 40 and show you a better way to control this. I'll click OK to accept that, and now we've created our selection. Now that we have our selection, we no longer need this uh, distress image. So I'm gonna click on this eyeball just to kind of hide the visibility of that. And what I wanna do next is target the layer that I want to receive this uh, mask. All right, so over here, I got this one titled Jesus Ramirez, and uh, that's the guy that runs the Photoshop training channel. Make sure you go over there and check it out. He's got some awesome stuff over there. All right, while I have this layer targeted, at the bottom of the layers panel, we have this guy here, which is gonna allow us to add a layer mask. Click on it once, and now we have a mask created. If I zoom in on this guy, notice we have this texture, and we have a more weathered look, which is exactly what we wanted. So I'm gonna zoom back out. Now what's happening here is let's go back into the layers panel. All right, right here we have this mask. I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option, click on it, and that's gonna show us what our uh, mask looks like. Now the way this mask works is whatever's in white, you're able to see the entire image at that portion. Now whatever is full black, that part is gonna be hidden. And if you have any gray values in there, that's gonna form some sort of transparency for you. All right, so let's bring back our image back over here, hold down Alt or Option, click on it, and then we're able to see our image again. All right, now that you know how to create this distressing on your image, I wanna show you how to control it so you can fine tune it if needed. All right, what I'm gonna do is come back into the Layers panel. You see this little link? Click on it once, and now we've broken the link between the image and the mask. All right, so now that we've done that, you also wanna make sure you're targeting this mask. Now, clicking on it once is gonna target it, but you can visually tell that it's targeted because it has that outline around it. All right, next, I'm gonna hit Command L on my keyboard or Control L on a PC, and that's gonna bring up the levels. Now, these levels are only affecting that mask. All right, so let's see how uh, this is gonna affect it. I'm gonna grab this black slider, bring it towards the right, and notice we have more distressing now. All right, so I'll bring this guy back to how it was by default. Now I wanna grab this white slider, all right, so we're gonna introduce some more white here, which means we're removing some of that distressing. Because we have more white, that means we're able to see our original image more clearly. All right, so I'll back off on that. I'm gonna grab this uh, middle slider for the midtones, bring it towards the right, 
There you go. So now we're getting some more distressing in here. That looks pretty good. I even kind of created a little problem here that we could fix next. I'm going to click OK to accept that change. And this looks fantastic. But if I zoom in, notice Photoshop looks cool. Training is a little bit tough to read. Now, if you really want to go for um, a really distressed look, this might be fine for you. Uh, maybe if you're going for that grunge style. But I want to back off on it because I want to make sure you're able to read um, the Photoshop training channel. All right, so I'm going to hit the B key on my keyboard. That gives me the brush tool. If you notice, I have this funky looking brush. Well, you got one too. Come over here to the top. See this little drop down? When you click on it, you're, you have access to all these different presets right in here. Towards the bottom, you have these really cool ones. And the one I went with is just right here. And it ships with Photoshop. It's called Dry Brush Tip Light Flow. All right, the reason I went with that is because it's just a bunch of dots. And that's going to work really well with this uh, distress pattern. So click on it to make sure it's activated. Hit Escape, and that's going to dismiss that panel for you. Now, before you start painting, you want to make sure that you have your mask targeted and over here in the tools panel, you want to make sure you're painting in with white if you're trying to remove some of this distressing. All right, now, uh, don't just click and drag because you end up giving this effect here that doesn't really look that natural. All right, if you notice, it just kind of looks like a rubber eraser going over everything. All right, so I'm going to undo that. Now, if you have a Wacom tablet with pressure sensitivity on there, that's going to give you tons more control over this, but I know some of you guys don't, so I'm just going to do this on a trackpad to show you that even if you have a trackpad, you can still uh, play around with this brush. All right, now, the way I work with it is I just click and do small drags, just kind of along here. Now, again, the way this mask is working is we're allowing ourselves to see more of the original image. What we're doing is uh, we're painting in white so we could see uh, our original design and we're not really focused on that distress pattern. All right, so that was kind of a long drag, but maybe if I break this up a little bit. And then anywhere you need, just, uh, you know, it's going to be your design eye, whatever you actually feel is going to work best for your particular project. Now, for me, this looks okay already because you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. Now, I'm going to zoom all the way out so you can see the entire image. Again, I'm going to bring up this mask, so I'm going to hold down Option, click on the mask. All right, so all we've done is uh, made a couple levels changes to this, and we were able to paint in... Uh, some of the section here on the mask. I'm going to bring back the original image. Now, this is the image with the distressing. If I hold down the shift key and I click on that mask, we're temporarily disabling the mask. So this is what we had originally. So it's a solid white ink on there. Shift, click on it again so we could see that mask in action. And to me, this looks more interesting and uh, it's going to result in a better t-shirt print. Uh, and if you use it on other medias, I'm sure your client will be just as happy. All right, so there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how to distress with masks in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.